Lower ALT, alanine amino transferase levels, natural way. Elevated ALT levels can be a sign of liver damage. Taking steps to lower ALT levels can help the liver recover. Lifestyle changes such as a healthful diet and regular exercise can all help to lower ALT levels. What is ALT and why lower it? ALT which stands for alanine amino transferase is an enzyme in the liver. Enzymes help the body carry out chemical reactions to function properly. ALT is essential for filtering toxins from the blood, storing nutrients and producing bile. Damage or inflammation to the liver causes the liver to release these enzymes into the bloodstream, leading to elevated levels of ALT in the body. Lowering ALT levels can help the liver carry out its functions. People should treat any causes of elevated ALT such as liver damage or diabetes with the help of medical professionals. Natural methods can complement medical treatment to help lower ALT levels. Drinking coffee. Drinking coffee can help to lower ALT levels. A review from 2017 looks at several studies that show drinking a cup or more of coffee each day reduces ALT levels. The study found that people who drink who drank two to three cups of coffee each day had a 38% lower risk of liver cancer or hepatocellular carcinoma and 46% lower risk of death from chronic liver disease compared to non-coffee drinkers. In addition, those who drank four or more cups of coffee a day had a 41% lower risk of liver cancer and 71% lower risk of dying from chronic liver disease. Researchers are unsure whether it is the caffeine in coffee that has liver protecting properties or if it is due to the antioxidants in coffee. A st study from 2014 found that both caffeinated and decaffeinated coffee lowered ALT levels. Exercising regularly. Regular exercise may help improve liver health and research suggests physical activity is an important factor in treating liver disease. A 2018 article from the Journal of Hepatology recommends a regular exercise program as part of treatment of for chronic diseases such as cirrhosis. Losing excess weight. Research has found that weight loss is an important factor in treating fatty liver disease and in preventing fibrosis of the liver. Weight loss improves insulin sensitivity and decreases inflammation. Regular exercise along with a reduction in calories may also reduce the risk of liver cancer. Increasing exercise and decreasing calorie intake through a balanced diet will help people lose weight. Increasing folic acid intake. A folate deficiency may increase the risk of damage to the liver and potentially, and potentially have a link to liver cancer. People may improve their liver health by eating foods high in folate such as beef liver, spinach, black-eyed peas, fortified breakfast cereals, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, lettuce, avocado. Taking supplements of folic acid may also help lower ALT levels. Making dietary changes. A small scale study from 2030 looked at the effect of changing lunch to a healthier option had, a, had an ALT levels in 10 meals. Compared to their previous lunches, people had 20.3% lower ALT after eating more healthful lunches for one month. The nutritional lunches contained more vegetables, less animal protein and more plant-based protein. Foods with lower energy density, more fiber, 
increased amounts of potassium, vitamin B6 and folic acid. A 2007 study found a diet lower in carbohydrates, decreased ALT levels in adults who are obese and insulin resistant. For a healthy liver, the American Liver Foundation recommend eating a balanced diet that involves avoiding processed foods, especially fried foods and foods high in sugar, fat and salt, avoiding raw or undercooked shellfish, increasing dietary fiber by eating whole grains, fruit and vegetables, eating organic food where possible, may also help the liver by reducing the level of toxins entering the body. Reducing High Cholesterol A 2018 study found a link between higher levels of both low-density lipoprotein LDL and high-density lipoprotein HDL and elevated levels of liver enzymes in adults in the United States. People can reduce high cholesterol levels through regular exercise and a healthful diet that includes reducing meat and saturated fat, avoiding trans fats, increasing dietary fiber, increasing intake of omega-3 fatty acids, avoiding alcohol smoking and environmental toxins. Alcohol can increase damage to the liver, so people with high ALT levels should avoid consuming alcohol to protect the liver from further damage. People who smoke should stop smoking and others can try to avoid secondhand smoke to reduce the toxic load on the liver. People can also take care to avoid high levels of chemical toxins in the air where possible and consider using an air purifier in the home to remove excess toxins. Ideal levels and how to measure them. People can see their doctor for a liver blood test which will show levels of ALT in their body. A doctor will take blood from the arm and send the sample off for testing at a laboratory. According to a 2010 review, normal ALT levels are less than 50 units per liter. However, some researchers have recommended lower, lowering the accepted amount for normal. This is because more people are developing obesity and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and by reducing the upper threshold for normal ALT levels, doctors may be able to detect potential liver health issues earlier. Following this recommendation, ideal levels of ALT are lower than 31 units per liter for females, less than 40 units per liter for males. Very, very high levels may indicate liver problems such as hepatitis. Very low levels of ALT may also pose health risk and increase frailty. One study found that low ALT levels in people with coronary heart disease increased the risk of long-term mortality. ALT levels that are 17 units per liter may predict an increased risk of frailty and increased mortality. People can discuss their ALT results with their doctor to find out if their ALT levels are healthful or whether they need to take steps to alter them.